Task complete. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico Bree and we are going to be continuing with the support ship design. So last time we were finishing up the STA or the shield transfer array. And before that we had been working with the support ship and uh, we added the remodeled uh, fortress shield module, which basically the fortress shield is supposed to encapsulate like an entire fleet with a defensive shield. So um, that's kind of like the little summary of how that module works. And then of course the shield transfer module does exactly what it sounds like. It transfers uh, shield energy to another ship. If you think kind of like EVE Online, um, those shield transfer arrays are kind of the same concept there. Um, so, with that being said, um, we're going to incorporate both of those modules here into the model. And um, one thing that I want to emphasize is, of course, the tool sets and techniques and stuff that I use. So, um, one of my favorite techniques that I use is um, I like to use the offset and the offset tool. Then I would um, select a point or the surface of whatever I'm offsetting and I will hold down the alt key and I will drag that um, that object or that face that surface in you know any direction that I want you know I essentially you know it's making a kind of like an angled or like a uh, I like to call it a hump basically on the surface so um, you're bringing it out towards you and you're basically extruding it while adding also some like detailing features um forgive me if i'm not 100 percent fluent on all the technical terms for 3d modeling but that's just how i've <laughs> i've been you know i've self-taught myself so i use that function a lot and one um tip that you can add um excuse me that you can combine with that tool is by pressing shift you lock the face on a particular axis so um, that's definitely one of the tools that I use um, heavily in my 3d modeling and as you can see now we're starting to add the shield transfer arrays and really in this part of the design I'm just placing the turrets and then I'm building the detail around the turret placements and stuff like that that's one of at least the fun parts for me when designing my spacecraft is when i design with too much detail and stuff like that then you have to kind of redesign to fit the turrets or other modules or other you know additions that you have that are kind of outside of the model such as the sta or the projector module so i like to kind of get to a point where i can start placing the modules and stuff and the different parts and then i start building around that and that's really where my models start to really come into fruition because once I have kind of all the aspects there, it's just nothing but softening up and, you know, adding detail where I want the detail to go, you know. <clears throat> so that is essentially what um, is happening in this video. And like I say in every video, I emphasize the flow. If you don't, have a good flow going it's okay it's cool just take a chill pill you know relax you know you walk away from it i know sometimes some people may have this as a particular job so if that's the case you know sometimes just get up take a breather you know stop looking at it come back to it and then start you know start doing your thing again you know but if you're not working on a job and you're not really time intense you know or time uh stressed then you know just Take a minute, you know, look at some inspiration. And, hmm, you know, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool. I can incorporate that, you know, and you come back to it, you know. And that's, honestly, I had a lot of issues with my flow in this. It doesn't show because obviously I'm, you know, I'm recording and I cut a lot of the stuff out. But a lot of my models do take a long time to kind of uh, work out because I kind of go through the internal conflict of how much detail do I want, how much detail is too much. You know, and finding that balance is difficult for me. It may not be for you, you know. And I hope that you find the balance better than I I can. And I can look at you and be like, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? So let's hope that you take and learn from my mistakes. And learn from my processes. And, you know, 
hopefully that'll help you develop your own by seeing mine visually. Now, one thing that I do want to emphasize um, with, with the upcoming videos is, uh, I take that back, not this these upcoming videos, because I'm gonna finish up the support ship, kind of doing the same thing I've been doing with all the other videos. But in the next series of videos, I'm going to go into the real nitty gritty. I'm gonna have the actual uh, tool sets, like the entire SketchUp um, session open or in view. And I'm actually gonna kind of walk through every single detail, you know, every tool and all the other stuff, you know, really kind of get into it because um, uh, I've seen some feedback where, or excuse me, I've read and heard some feedback where um, that was, you know, the desire, you know, they want to be, some people want to be able to actually see and pretty much feel everything that I'm doing, you know, and how I'm building these spacecraft in SketchUp. So I am going to be doing that in the next series. So if this isn't your particular way of learning, um, stay tuned. I'm going to be coming out with that stuff soon. And I hope you guys stick around long enough for that to, you know, come into fruition because it is coming. Um, um, the reason why I started off this way um, and doing my SketchUp videos like this with some having commentary, some don't, and then, you know, some just having, you know, really, like, really fast speed runs is when I was starting off with SketchUp, I did it literally the hard way. I didn't have, you know, any basis. You know, I looked up some tutorials and stuff like that, but if you're like me, you know, when it comes to instruction and stuff like that, ain't nobody got time for reading instructions. I like to just dig, dive in and see what I can do. And that's what I did. And it took me a long time to get to a decent point to where I'm building spacecraft like this. And it took me a lot of visualizing other people's work, looking at inspiration, and looking at other 3D modelers too. You know, I was a very visual person. I didn't really pay attention to much, so much about what tools and stuff they were using, you know, as much as I was worrying about how did they create that shape or how did they get to that point? What little nuanced details that make the ship pop? You know, that's what I focused on. And that's kind of where I started my uh, YouTube series as far as 3D modeling and stuff goes, because that's how I learned. So I realized that that's not always the case. And I want to appease everyone who's into 3D modeling and who follow me. So I'm going to be incorporating um, more detailed, uh, a different perspective of 3D modeling into this channel. So people can actually use this, you know, maybe from a period of absolutely no experience versus those who may have intermediate to advanced experience. And they just want, you know, some little nuances or techniques that would help their craft. So with that, um, I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope that you're you're loving the content. Please give me feedback um, continuously. I love that. And I want to help improve. And I hope to inspire you into creating your own things. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Chase your hopes, how I